RS Form Pro is a powerful and versatile form builder, offering a wide variety of configuration and customization options. Let's start by creating a simple contact form. Head over to Components, RS Form Pro, Manage Forms, and click New. This will launch the Form Creation Wizard, which we will skip this time around and create our form from scratch. All available fields are listed in the Form Fields tab to the left side of the screen. We will start adding a text box by filling in the name and caption of the field. Note that the name is only used for internal reference. It will not be displayed in the front end area, whereas the caption is the text that will be displayed in the actual form. We'll add the rest of our fields in the same manner. However, for fields such as checkbox group, we will have to specify the items of the checkbox, one per line. Selectable items are composed out of two parts, value and label, separated by the pipeline character. In this example, we will use the checkbox for sending a copy to the submitting user. Since we've added all desired fields to our form, let's go ahead and add the Submit button. Now that the form is complete, we can easily manipulate its layout structure through the Grid Layout feature. Fields can be rearranged into rows that can have a configurable number of columns. We will add a row with three columns that we'll drag and drop at the top of our form. The number of columns can later be changed by clicking the Options button of the row and selecting the number of contained columns. The length of the columns can also be modified. Simply click and hold above the three vertical dots icon, move left or right, and release to set. In our example, we've set up the new row with two equal columns, where we'll rearrange our first name and last name fields by simply dragging and dropping them in the desired position. Now, let's name our form. To do so, we'll access the Form Properties tab, head over to Form Info, and fill in the form title and form name fields. The form name will only be used for internal reference. It will not be displayed when viewing the form in the front end. Let's view our form in the front end. The last name field is not entirely visible in the front end. The label is displayed next to the fields, thus pushing the field's edge into the main menu. We'll adjust this by displaying the label on top of the fields. In order to do so, We'll head over to Form Properties and access Form Layout tab. Here, we'll change the layout flow from horizontal, label is displayed next to the field, into vertical, label on top of the field. Our form already looks better. However, we'll also make further style adjustments to our email, subject, and message fields so that they align with the last name field. The CSS and JavaScript tab allows for any styles to be added or any scripts can be set to be triggered when the form loads. We have added a custom width for the email and subject fields and for the message field we've also set a bigger height so that the submitting user can have a clear overview of their message. Our contact form now looks just the way we wanted.